Hey everyone, DeWalt came out with a new flex bolt grinder that is 30% more powerful than their old model. We are going to dive in close, take a look, see if anything's changed, show you this model in use, and talk about upgrading. DeWalt's new FlexVolt 4.5 inch to 6 inch brushless angle grinder is model number DCG418 and you can get it in a kit which will end with X1. The X1 kit will come with the 6 inch guard, 4.5 inch guard, a 9 amp hour FlexVolt battery and the DeWalt DCB1106 charger along with a bag. Now the new 9 amp hour FlexVolt battery has gone through a slight design change. I do not believe that anything has changed significantly on the inside, uh, but it does look a little bit different. Something that's nice to see if you are looking for newer batteries, you can always check the date on these batteries. This one is a 2019. Always good to know what you're buying as far as batteries, if you might be in the used market or looking at new ones. So if we look at the DCG414, it's pretty much the same. Now the DCG414, the old model, is basically rated at 2.2 horsepower, 1700 watts max output. The new DCG418 is rated at three horsepower and 2300 max watts out. They both have the E-clutch, they both have a kickback brake, both of them have a fair soft start and a brake on them. If you really look at them side by side, there is not much difference at all. In fact, trying to find any difference other than the fact that I have the four and a half inch guard on the older model is really hard to find. I even looked at the pins, pins haven't changed in the back. Nothing here really stands out and says that anything changed other than an upgraded motor inside to give you that 30% more power, which you definitely can feel. If we just take a quick walk around, you do have an auxiliary handle that can go on the right or left. The blade guard in here is a simple tool-free adjustment. You just push that lever. To take off the blade, you have a spindle lock. It's very simple to remove. There is an Allen key if that were to get stuck. To remove and switch the guard, we just pull this all around to the front. Comes right out. If you want to put in the four inch guard, four and a half inch guard, easy. Put a little pressure on this guy and it will go back in. And then you can load everything back up. There is a small piece, it's on both, that you have to line up, which can be interesting, to say the least, with gloves. And it does sometimes stop you from using the disc to tighten it up, but works quite well. Something with the DeWalt series that I've always liked is the small grip in the back. It reminds me a lot of a drill grip, but it's easy to use at different angles. The safety is simple to push down. These screens work very well, but you can see here they start out as silver. You need to blow these out after every use. Let's start talking about using this guy because you're probably familiar with the DeWalt Flexible Grinder because it's one of the best out there. So if we go back to 2016, the DCG414 was a game changer and DeWalt claimed that it was equivalent to a 13 amp grinder. Fast forward ahead to 2020, we are still looking at the basic same design in the DCG418. We just have 30% more power. That's allowing us to use the same flex volt battery, pretty much that we had back then, get more power just with motor upgrades and maybe some software that they have on the inside and really dive in deep and get some jobs done. The FlexVolt battery is basically a 3P battery. You can still use it in your 20 volt tools. And the only downside that I see to this system in the 414 or the 418 is going to be runtime. 
Back in the day, we did a runtime comparison with this DCG414 and compared it to some of the other brands that were 18 volt at the time. And we got a solid grinding time of three and a half minutes before the battery went dead. Well, today I just had a quick project outside. I just wanted to finish up and I used this tool with the new nine amp hour battery. Looked at the time and looked at what I was going to do and said, I'm not doing a whole lot. I'm using a cutting disc to make a couple cuts and I'm going to use a sanding disc to smooth everything out. Nothing here had to be perfect, but I only worked for about 15 minutes and I did not complete my job on this nine amp hour battery. I came close. I mean, I was 30 seconds away. Granted, I was pushing on this sanding disc quite hard a couple times, just trying to see, can I max this tool out and can I get it to stop? And there's no doubt I can, but I am putting way more pressure than anyone ever should while they're using a grinder. So this, there's, there's no doubt, you've got all the power in the world, but with that power still comes a fairly short runtime, which is why I go back to the DeWalt power detect tools in that eight amp hour battery. And if you look back at that uh, review we did on that tool, that tool lasted a very, very long time. It didn't have and doesn't have the same power that this unit does, but it definitely has some significant more runtime. So what are we looking at? Power versus runtime? I, I'm not gonna go that far just yet because you can still up to a 12 amp hour battery with this DeWalt system, get a little bit more runtime out of it. Angle grinders are a power sucking battery eating tool that is still coming out and getting great power. But if you're gonna use these on the job site all day, uh, you're gonna be searching for a corded model soon or you're gonna have a lot of these batteries sitting around. There's no doubt, I'm not bagging on this. I want a cordless angle grinder sitting in my shop. In fact, I want multiples so that I can get different jobs done and have things going. But I think the job sites are still full of corded models in a lot of ways simply because people are using them for a longer period of time than what our batteries will currently let us use. Let me know if you agree with that. There's no doubt this is a good upgrade. I don't know that I would spend my money if I had a nice DCG414 sitting around that was doing very well. Why? Um, because you're not really using that grinder to its full extent. And if you are in certain circumstances, by far upgrade. But 99% of us who are going to be using these grinders are not going to be stalling the 414 out and saying, I need more power. You're not gaining much more runtime, if any. And the reality of it is, it's just new technology. That's what we're buying. And I'm not trying to downplay this. DeWalt has to come out with this. They're kicking butt. They are just pummeling everyone with tools right now and killing some of the other brands. And the other brands need to really start stepping it up to keep up. So there's no doubt there. It's just a matter of you're buying technology. So what you buy 2016, and what you buy today is going to be different. If you don't have a flex volt grinder and you want some serious power in a grinder and want something that you can go back and forth between a four and a half and a six inch wheel, definitely. We didn't even test this tool with four and a half inch grinding wheels, sanding discs or anything because it's just so much power that it, you might as well put a six inch on it and enjoy it. Guys, looking for the comments, love this tool, love everything DeWalt's doing, I need the power, I need a little bit more runtime also, but I think that's gonna be sorted out here in technology in the near future. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, give us a like in this video. As always, we appreciate your time, have a great day.